Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends and today we have a very great lesson to learn from the Muhammadan. You know as you know that Muhammadans are the best in logic, science, um, they are advanced and everything. And we have to agree, you know. Um, Muslims they make comments in the previous videos. Uh, we will speak about that too, but as you see the title says Zakir Naik, because supposedly this is the Muslims, they think he is the guy who can answer questions. And he is the one who can, uh, you know, uh, refute the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhas, everything. Actually nobody, nobody can, you know, that's it. And you know, the Muslims always, uh, they debate themselves and they win the debate. And uh, the stage uh, show we see with Zakir Naik, uh, hilarious show. The big you, I don't know, I mean, who is those people? And they ask questions and Zakir Naik right away, he have the answer. And everybody clapping and that's it. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, Takbir. Uh, if we put what Zakir Naik in, into a little, uh, you know, test, we will see that Islam is not only a silly cult. Islam make you silly. I mean, do even those people who I'm talking about, those who we will see in the videos or in the defend Islam, do they even listen to themselves? Do they? I will give an example, and I want Muslims to help us, by the way. Later, we will open our Skype. So if you are a Muslim, you can call us. And, um, you know, we can see how good their logic is but you know i understand the logic of islam in a very simple way if you believe in god his name is allah allah will make your penis endless and he will give you a lot of vagina and that actually a very clear proof that islam is from god i mean how simple we can make it more is, is that is that true or no what is the purpose of islam if you believe in allah allah will send you to a place this place is yours full of females and they have no panties and you spend your day each time you have orgasm is going to be 70 years and he promised you as muhammad says your penis will be in this and the vagina will fit for that which means the vagina is in this too so this is simply the logic of islam and here you know ask yourself a very simple question i mean how naive that logic is how stupid that logic is that is a god who works as a pimp and in order to make me believe in him he have to put for me in front of me a vagina and then supposedly I'm worshipping him but the fact the one who believe in Allah for such a reason he believe and worship the vagina he don't believe in Allah but let us see how Zakir Naik he always explain things and how Muslims agree with him let us go the religion we should follow and the second part that is similar that how will you come to know that Islam is the truth exactly. and the third that he said at third one of my speech that J.S. <coughs> Caspi be upon him said that if you want to enter Jannah you should keep all the commandments and follow all the laws mentioned in the Old Testament how in this age can we follow all the laws of the Old Testament I will try and club the first two questions together that how do you know that Islam is the correct religion to worship and how do you know that Islam is the truth? Islam comes from the word Salam, which means peace. It is also derived... That is the biggest lie ever in history. And people could be repeating it. Islam is the opposite of Salam. Like in English, you say known and unknown. This is why Islam does not start with the Alif A, which means you surrender. Aslim Taslam. Surrender, you will be safe. So here the first lie, they say Islam mean peace, when the fact it is, Islam mean die or convert or surrender. And we mention in this many, you know, you can read my, my, my book and you will see exactly in Arabic how we explain it. And this is a big fat lie, they keep repeating it. This is why the false prophet of Islam, he says, Aslim Taslam. He sent letters to the Roman and, and he, all, all the non-Muslims saying to them, Aslim, became a Muslim, you will be safe. How is that? Because I will kill you if you don't. Alright? So, 
اسلم تسلم if you if you if you uh, uh, if you accept to be a muslim you surrender to muhammad then you know you are safe as you see here it says aslim taslam aslim islam aslim enter islam you will be safe how you enter islam to be safe what does that mean how you will be safe safe from muhammad because muhammad he says i've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there's no god but allah and there's no prophet but muhammad and they eat as we eat and they, they drink as we drink and they pay zakat etc and they pray so this is the first lie the muhammadan they come to you with some of them because they are just repeating copy paste they don't know what they are talking about and some of them they knew that they are lying and they are their profession is to lie as you see if islam means peace then what muhammad here is talking about i've been ordered commanded to kill all mankind all mankind you see, there's some stupid people think that uh, if you don't fight uh, with uh, Islamic countries, well, they will not fight you. And they will show you even verse from the Quran says, well, if they go to peace, go with peace with them. But those, they don't tell you that Islam is abrog have a abrogation stages. When Muhammad was weak, he go for peace. Peace agreement. When he gets strong, he wash his hands from the peace. As you see in chapter 9, verse number 1, verse number 2, verse number 3. So, they lie to you non-stop by saying Islam is peace. Muhammad being commanded to kill all mankind until, until what? Not until they stop fighting him. No. Not until they go and sign peace with him. No. Until they testify that there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad. Do you see it? So what is the problem? What is the cause of war? It's not you fighting Muslims because the second you don't convert to Islam, you are fighting Muslims anyway. This is the logic of the Muhammadan. Now, there's a guy in the in the chat. He said his name is a Christopher. He said it's not nice to talk like this, or you know, he's talking about me saying if you convert to Islam, Allah will give you a lot of vagina. My friend, don't stay here. Get lost. We have no time for a stupid hypocrite who want to teach us how to talk. This is how it is. You like it, like it. Who cares if it's nice or not? This is what you get from people who they are little in the brain. It's not nice, brother, to talk like this, brother. But this is the religion. What I will say, I will, okay, I will change the word penis with zucchini and the word vagina with the tomato. So your majesty, you don't feel like it's not nice. This is the reason, actually, this is what, the, this is the problem of this earth. We have a bunch of fools. They think if we change words, we change facts. If you don't like it, nobody is forcing you to be here. It's not nice to talk like this. It's not nice, brother. Where are those dummies coming from? So Muhammad, he promised you a lot of zucchini, so the Mr. Christopher will not be upset. Your zucchini will be endless. Are you there, Mr. Christopher? I hope your zucchini is doing fine. So now you convert to Islam, Allah will make your zucchini endless and will give you a potato, which is the vagina. But did I say vagina? I should not say the vagina because Christopher is sensitive. He don't like to use those words. Even when he got married, he did not use it. Like his wife, she said, do you have your zucchini with you? She, he said, no. I left it in the kitchen. Hypocrite dummies. So, the order is so clear. I've been commanded to fight against the people. Till they declare that there's no God but Allah. Not until they stop fighting me, until they say we will never have peace, until they know that the, the, the message is so clear. Until they say, there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the Prophet. 
And not only that, if you don't eat as they eat, Muhammad will kill you. If you don't slaughter as you slaughter, Muhammad will kill you. Do you see it? So here we don't make things up and we don't talk about, uh, we don't have uh, political correctness speech here. This is why if you are offended, don't come here, please. You will be offended because you are naive, because you are silly, because you don't want to see the reality as it is. So when somebody speak to you with a clear message in things as it is, you feel uh, that's not right for you because you're angel. You're, you came from the sky. You are not from this earth. So this is how they lie to us always. would non-stop saying Islam is peace. If Islam is peace, so why Muhammad want to kill all mankind until they eat even as he eat? What is the problem? Do you think Muhammad inv invented Islam by himself or he tricked by shaitan? shaitan? My friend, Islam is not an inv invention as much as a collection. Islam is just a stupid cult. Muhammad, he was trying to be a prophet for the Jew, did not work. But in that process, he accepted what the Jews say. He was trying to be a prophet for the Christian, did not work. In that process, he accepted most of what the Christians say. He tried to be a prophet for the Sabian. In this process, he accepted the stars and all the stupid stories, and he did not work for him too. So this is why you see that Islam is a collection of all religions was exist in the in the in the Arabian Peninsula, Sabian, Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, and star you know, star worship like the Sabian or other you know black stone kissers. Uh, the, the the Arab they have three hundred sixty uh, uh, gods something around the Kaaba. So you may, can imagine how many religions there. So Muhammad is a mix. This is why you see Muhammad he abandoned the Kaaba for some time. He don't pray even to the Kaaba no more. He prayed to Jerusalem. Why? What happened? The Kaaba is not good no more. Oh, at that point, Muhammad was trying to claim to be a Jew. So he prayed to war Jerusalem. But when the Jews rejected him anyway, Muhammad, he started looking around saying, where I'm going to pray to? Like the Jews are not getting me, getting me busted. So now you see Muhammad suddenly, he say, Allah told me, I'm going to make you, I will find you a direction of a prayer which you like. So Muhammad was not praying there, no. And this is you can find even in the Quran. The Kaaba is not a choice of Allah, it was a choice of Muhammad and the proof in chapter two, verse 144. We have seen the turning, the turning of the face to heaven. Muhammad is wondering where I'm going to pray now, which direction? But what happened? You were praying to Jerusalem. And now verily, we have, we shall make the turn toward a Qibla, which means direction, which is uh, dear to thee. Huh? That is a dear to him. What is that? Okay, turn your face toward the Kaaba. <laughs> So why it was why Muhammad was not praying toward the Kaaba? If the Kaaba is the house of Allah, why Muhammad he abandoned the house of Allah? What was the problem? The problem that this guy is like Barack Obama. He go to Israel, he wear the the Jewish hat. He go to a black church, he is a black Christian. He go to a white church, he is a white. Uh, you know, his mother is white. She is white. He's white. He changed his even his color. You know, he uh, uh, he go to the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. Uh, uh, he go to, to to the Muslim to Egypt. He quote Quran. That's Muhammad Barack Obama. He changed his color. He changed his you know uh, religion. He changed his statement. He changed his belief. The bent he is talking to who? So he compromised in order to make people follow him to accept him. So Muhammad he could not make the Jews accept him. So now it's time to change and switch back to the old pagan ritual practice, which is the Kaaba. And I challenge any Muslim to prove me wrong. As you see, we are showing you reference from the screen. Muhammad, he abandoned the Kaaba. He don't pray to the Kaaba no more. And, you know, 
obviously if the Kaaba is the house of God and nothing changed why Muhammad will change that for a second why Muhammad will abandon that for a second actually he stopped praying to the Kaaba most of his life after he claimed to be a prophet for sure before that he was just the same as the rest of the pagan kissing the black stone nothing changed and then he went back to kiss the black stone and go around the Kaaba nothing changed now we go back to uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, who have a, he, he is a doctor, by the way, supposedly. Let us see what he will say. From the Arabic word film, mm -hmm. which film. means to submit your will to God. And by the way, none of those people, they speak Arabic. They don't even know. Like Zak, uh, uh, Ahmed Didat, he have a translation. He have a translator when he make a lecture to the Arab. You can watch it on YouTube. And he said in his lecture, I don't speak one Arabic word. So those people who teach you what Arabic word mean, they don't speak Arabic. Islam means peace acquired by submitting a will to Almighty God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And for any book to claim that it is a message from God, for any religion to prove that it is from Almighty God, this revelation, this book, this religion should stand the test of time. Previously, it was the age of miracles. And the glorious Quran is the miracle of miracles. You know, I noticed that this guy, ultimate fart, is disturbing you, please. I mean, when you see this person, automatically, just to block him. He's just a kid. We have no place here for kids, stupid people who have no place. He's just disturbing the chat, and instead of listening to what we are saying, you are busy with the stupidity. So anytime this kid, he show up, just block him. So, Islam is a religion can stand the test, as you hear. Islam is a religion always can stand the test okay how, how how is that Islam means peace acquired by submitting a will to Almighty God and for any book to claim that it is a message from God for any religion to prove that it is from Almighty God this revelation this book this religion should stand the test of time previously it was the age of miracles and the glorious Quran is the miracle of miracles <laughs> later on came the age of literature and poetry Muslim and non-Muslim Arabic scholars alike they claim the glorious Quran to be the best Arabic literature available on the face of the earth let us see if this is true Muslims and non-Muslims who Muslims and non-Muslims I mean when they lie, their lie is so big, so wide, so open. Even the Quran itself says that the Arab, they laugh at the Quran. How it is the Arabic literature or literature of this book is amazing when the Arab in the Quran are laughing at it. Look what the Arab they said. When did that is going to debate me? That is dead, my friend. And as usual, he is a Muslim Sunni. So when he died, they put a big piece of cotton in his anus because they are afraid, as Muhammad said, that 99 dragons will go inside his anus. So look what the Arab they said about the Quran. All those verses in the Quran, the Arab are making fun of the stupid Quran. But this guy, he just said, Arab and non-Arab, they were amazed of the literature of the Quran. Did they really? Let us read. <laughs> Chapter 6, verse number 25. What the Arab they said about the Quran? They said this is a fairy tale, stupid fairy tales of the of the idiots. What is this? They were not amazed. They said this is stupid. Literally, this is stupid. Not only they don't believe in it, not only do not accept it. They say they clearly, this is nothing but a stupid fairy tale stories. 
nothing more. And this is all over the Quran. So if those people are amazed of such a book, then they should be amazed of the book. And not only that, they say, we have heard this before, which Muhammad, obviously, he is copying other people before him. If you have my book, you will see that Muhammad, as an example, copying the poetry of Imr al-Qais. That's why they say, we heard this before. This is not even yours. He take lines from poetry and he put it in his Quran. He take lines from the Bible and he put it in the Quran. He take lines from the Old Testament, he put it in the Quran. He take lines and a statement of Paul and he put it in the Quran. Focus with me guys. I mean, Alif Lam Mim, is that the point now? Focus, focus. People who they are in the chat, please ask yourself before you ask me a question, is that the time for the question? Why people don't think Alif Lam Mim? What does this have to do with our topic now? Do your best to ask yourself before you ask me the question, is that a question fit with the topic? Or you are jumping out of the window? Don't be like Muhammad, suffering from flight of thoughts. Stay with us. So, the Arab, they are making fun of the Quran and they say it's nothing but a fairy tale, a stupid fairy tale, it's not even good for kids. But Zakir Naik, he just said this is an amazing book and the Arab and an Arab, they were amazed with it. And I like it when he said the non Arab are amazed with it because how the non Arab don't speak Arabic, they can be amazed with it. Right? And the same, you know, all over. Muhammad, he said to them, this is from Allah. The Arab, they said to him, this is fairy tales. You see how much amazed they are? Do you not, did you notice? Like the, so if the Arab were amazed, so why they don't want to accept? Why do they keep asking him for a miracle? Because supposedly this is a miracle. It's amazing literature. Nobody can write like it, you know? So, like, who can write a book today in the 2021 saying that the sperm coming from the backbone of the man? Nobody. You cannot do that. You have to be mentally ill. Or the woman, she has a sperm coming from the backbone. Sorry, from the, from the ribs. You have to be certified idiot in order to be able to write a book like this. If you remember the story of Abdullah ibn Sarh, Abdullah ibn Sarah was the writer, the scribe, the scribe of Muhammad. And when Muhammad was reciting or making Quran, and this guy was writing Quran for him, this man, he said a sentence. What was that sentence? So Muhammad was saying to this guy, right there, Allah, he told me the following. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood, which is stupid. Then the clot, we made it into a lump, a lump. Then we made out the, that lump into bones. And then we closed the bones with the flesh. Now Muhammad here trying to copy of a, a, a phrase or a statement from the Old Testament, but as always, he had his own stupid things, so he missed it up and became stupid. But look what happened, because this is not our topic for now. 
When Muhammad he arrived here and he says, then we developed out of, of it another creature. The guy who was the inscribe of Muhammad, he said the following sentence. And I challenge any Muslim to say, I'm lying. Because this is in your book. So blessed be Allah, the best. Ah, look at the translation here. You see, the word here should be creators, not create. If you change the translation, the translator, you will see the word creators appear. This is why I say always, you cannot trust Islamic translation. They lie. Let me show you. This is Yusuf A translation. Let us go to the front translation. Hilali and Khan. Is it to create or creators? And by the way, uh, somebody told me that translation of Yusuf Ali is banned in Malaysia. <coughs> Muslims, even Muslims are banning Yusuf, Yusuf Ali translation. Can you believe it? Why, why, Abdul, why? What he did, what he did? His name is a Christian prince. He left Islam. So what the guy he said, he said, so blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Muhammad, he told him right there. The guy, he said, right what? He said, what you just said. He said, but this is what I said. He said, yes, and Allah gave it to me too. <laughs> so the guy, he leave Islam immediately. And Muhammad, he order to kill this guy wherever the Muslims can fight him. And Muhammad was begging the Muslims to kill him. And this is all in Islamic books. And he is the brother of the Caliphate Uthman. And this is why Uthman, he did his best to protect him and ask Muhammad to forgive him when Muhammad became victorious. So he will not be killed. Even Muhammad, he said, even if this guy, he hold the curtain of the Kaaba, which is provide, you know, like present the, the, the burqa of the vagina of the black stone, even if he used the burqa of the Kaaba, I'm going to kill him. Even if he hold it, even if he big by the name of the Kaaba, this is how much he was angry from him because he exposed him. And he caused him a lot of trouble and he was honest. This is exactly what happened. And even the Muslims agree that this is yes, that the guy he said that sentence, Muhammad he said to him, write it down, but the Muslims, they say, well, so what? Allah, he gave him that sentence too. But how Allah, he gave him that sentence after he gave it to this man? And the guy, he said to himself, well, if Allah, he inspired Muhammad and Muhammad is a prophet, well, I am a prophet too. Because here we go. Allah, he gave me this too. Because I'm the one who said that. And here you notice something stupid about this statement. Not only scientifically is it stupid that we made the sperm into a congealed blood because congealed blood is dead and there's no stage you can go and study. Go, don't go to Christian website, atheist website, just say plain science. You will see nowhere it says that the sperm transform into blood, which means according to the Quran that the first thing is the sperm and then the second we have a blood and then the blood which is dead blood, as you see in the screen, that blood will become a piece of meat. Not only this is a stupid, uh, scientific, scientifically, you will notice here it says that blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Obviously this person who said that sentence cannot be Allah because if Allah is saying, why Allah is saying he is the best of the creators, when Allah is the only creator. Do we have any Muslim have any statement? 